What are you guys doing, Eric? Here, Diggle, come here. I don't think there's a moose down here. There's people with the dogs. Okay, well, today's Saturday, August 27th, 2016. Being cautious right now because yesterday there was a family of moose over here. Big old bullwinkle man and a, two, and a mom and a cow and a baby. And pretty scary. Beautiful. My buddy, a friend of mine lives over here, man. He fucking, he hates the moose, man. And this is the, they're, they're getting ready for the fall rut. But man, he's like, when I moved up here, there wasn't any moose, you know, there, there, was, there was no moose in Colorado. I think they reintroduced them. And now they, they, they're moving into all these populated areas that, that, that were, that where there were no moose before, and they become a moosence, you might say. <laughs> More than a nuisance. But uh, one, a one woman a couple years back was... See that? There's a there's the moose footprints. They were here yesterday. And last night he was standing right here. And, uh, yeah, you can see their footprints in the water here. So yeah, being being I got I got a little bit of video of them yesterday. With right as they were leaving. So yeah. Man, it's a beautiful morning up here. Really freaking, man. I, got, I had to get out here early because it's, it's just so gorgeous right now. As usual, like 40 degrees this morning. So yeah, I was, I had another, I had another tooth chip the other day. <laughs> That's kind of, it's funny because it didn't even bother me. <laughs> it's kind of liberating, you know, when you can have a piece of your tooth chip off and, ah, fuck it, I don't care. That tooth's getting out. Of, <laughs> that tooth's going anyways. But, so, yeah, man, I get going on, moving along with the denture thing, you know, trying to, trying to look forward to it, you know. I guess it's going to be better to, to be looking forward to it than to be dreading it, you know. Try to look at the positive things that are going to come out of it, you know. It's I think it's going to be liberating, you know. I, I, I know a lot of people that live just fine with dentures. They're quite happy that they did it, so I'm going to go like that, man. That's the way I'm going to, I'm going to approach it. But, uh, yeah, it's going to cost me more than I thought, for sure. It's going to cost like $10,000 by the time it's all done, so... Fuck it, gonna have to do it. But I'm, I'm gonna do it in two steps. I, I, I was think I was gonna planning on doing it all at once, you know, top and bottom. But I changed my mind. I'm gonna. I talked to the dentist about it. He's like, he probably thinks that's the best way to do it too. Have the the tops done first. Get used to those, you know. Get to where I can. I'm comfortable with those, and then have the bottoms done. Because you know the bottoms are the more, the more difficult ones to to deal with. I think from what from what I've been finding out about it, the bottom ones are the are difficult. But you know when I oh there's the moose standing right over there. I'm going to walk towards this cabin over here. Oh, holy shit! He's just sitting there watching me. There's the mom and the baby too. Man, I knew I knew they were around. Ugh, that's frightening. This guy, this guy's not too dangerous, man. I don't think that's the one that charged me. I don't know, I don't know if you'll be able to see him on camera. Stand right over there in the shadow. If these people, Dominic's home. I'm not too worried about the moose. He's not going to come after me. I don't think. He's just watching me from way over there. 
He's a watching me. I'll get to a safe distance here. Same family that was here yesterday. They're getting ready to breed, make more. It's gonna be moose around every freaking tree pretty soon, man. The way these things are multiplying. This is really good habitat for them. Yeah, they stay over there a lot. And when there's not that too many people around, they come down to the water. Now he's looking at me. Come on, I'm gonna get out of here. Later, Mozilla. Come on, Nigo. <laughs> That's scary. That's scary. He's looking at me. <laughs> Anyways, come on, Nigo. Let's get out of here. What else is going on? Yeah, one time I was walking here and the moose was standing right there. I didn't even see him until I was like right right here and he was like, oh shit, there's a moose. I just started walking out the other direction. He just stood there, man. Thank God. He just, they'll do that a lot, man. They just stand there and they won't move. It's, it's one of the ways they, they kind of like keep themselves concealed, man. They, they blend right in with the woods. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool you see them a lot around here this time of year though because they, they you know they, they need the water they need to they need to go down to that water and eat that that vegetation that's in the water because that's what they get that's their most nutritious form i think that's why you always see the moose in the water they're kind of aquatic animal They'll, they swim i've seen them swim across the pond but anywho the only reason why I'm concerned about them is because I got a dog, man. Dog is like their only natural enemy is the wolf, you know. Wolf will hunt and kill their young. and So they have a natural hatred for dogs, you might say. So yeah, man, I'm getting the dentures done in two parts, man. That's gonna be cool. It's gonna, I think that's gonna be better, man, Hope, hoping. It's gonna take longer. They give me more money, more time to get the money together. Hopefully, you know, I'll get the first set done on the top, and then hopefully, you know, it'll it'll be a quick turnaround. In missing quite a few top teeth already, so it won't be too bad. And uh, I'm hoping I can. It'll only take me a couple of weeks, or it's going to probably take a month. Stay. At least. to get used to the dentures, I think, from what I understand. So, it's gonna take about, I'll be well into about winter by the time I'm, I'm done with this. I'm thinking, oh. but you know, I'm going in Wednesday for a consultation, I'm sure. I'll just pay for my, for the whole thing right there, for the top ones, get them going on it. Took, took some castings, they call it, or imprints, you know, that molded my teeth last week. So, yeah, that's that's all coming together. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to get it done, man. So, yeah, good shit there, man. Uh, appreciate all you people, my friend subscribers who have supported it means a lot man but people out there you know care but yeah so what the hell else did I want to talk about this fucking week man that moose got me all fucking ra rattled there for a minute man it was cool though at least I got some good shot of it I think but uh Kind of fucked up my video. <laughs> I forgot what I was talk gonna talk about. Oh, that fucking it earthquake over in Italy, man. Fuck. That was a fucking. Uh, 
You know, it wasn't that, they get big, I've been in big earthquakes than that in California, but uh, it's the way they build in Italy, you know? It's, all those old buildings are fucking made of stone and fucking bricks and shit, and they just, man. I seen a brick wall collapse not too long ago, man, and luckily no one was standing next to it. Man, it came down hard. It would If anybody was there, they would have just been crushed. My, my guy was standing right, you know, on the other side of it, hitting it with a sledgehammer. And then it's just, the whole thing just gave way, man. Boom! So, yeah, I can understand. Uh, but I was watching some interesting videos yesterday of people claiming the whole thing is a fucking hoax. <laughs> and then there was another one claiming that it was created by Harp. Uh, that one's more plausible to me than a hoax. You know, the hoax scenario. I don't know, this guy was looking at all these webcams all over Italy and supposedly areas that were all fucking fucked up where there was no damage at all. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it was a hoax, but I think it could have been caused by Harp. That's for sure. And then, uh, yeah. What else did I want to talk about? Shit, I can't fucking remember now. Goddamn moose. But, uh, yeah, the fucking turd puppet show, of course. That's fucking going on and on and on. Fucking. Supposedly Trump's dropping in the polls. You know, the fucking bullshit, fucking. It's just not fucking true, man. None of it. It's all fucking staged. It's all a fucking. It's like a soap opera, you know? It just. You know, like, they, they, this week they've been talking a whole lot about Hillary Clinton's emails, right? Kurt Gowdy, or whatever his name is. Fucking. Been, been fucking crucified. They, you know, this has been going on for two years now. This fucking email thing. And. You know, it's just like a soap opera, man. I, I mean, when I was a kid, my mom used to watch soap operas, you know, so they were on constantly, you know, every day. Fucking, she'd watch like three soap operas every day, you know, so you can't help but catch pieces and parts of what the fuck's going on in the things, man, right? And like, the same plot would be going on all fucking summer long, you know? <laughs> Nothing would ever happen. They just keep on going on and on and on about the same shit, but nothing ever happens, man. That's what it's like. Exactly like a fucking soap opera, man. These people know how to do it. The same people that write soap operas are the ones that are writing the script for this fucking thing, man. <laughs> they just keep it dragging it on and on. Hillary's emails, Hillary's emails, blah, 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 you know. It's a felony, you know. And nothing will ever fucking happen to it about it. I guarantee you that. So it's just, uh, it's ridiculous how they fucking do that shit. You know, they go on and on and on and on about something, and then it's it's all forgotten about. All of a sudden, it's just, it's you don't hear nothing else about it. And they start going and on and on and on about something else. That's <laughs> it's how it works, man. It's all, it's all a big distraction, and what the fuck's really going on in the world, I think. The presidential election is just a big fucking sideshow for the... For the masses, man, it's like a, it's like fucking Ringling Brothers Circus is what it is. You got clowns, you got fucking jugglers, you got solid salad tossers. <laughs> it's a fucking big old fucking shit show, man. That's what I call it. Fucking turd puppet convention. <laughs> and they use that. That's that's why that they keep Americans so distracted with that shit, man. That. You know what the fuck's going on but yeah you know it's like i've been saying all along man fucking hillary shillery hillary's gonna win man this is not gonna win there's no winning or losing in it it's not fucking it's not a real fucking contest it's a fucking it's a dinner playhouse theater of a soap opera is all it is man donald trump's playing his role you know, and all these fucking stupid fucking people out there that that think Donald Trump is for real, man, you know? I guarantee you the guy's a fucking clown. You know, he's not who he says he is, man. He's just like Obama. He's a fraudster, you know? That's why he doesn't want to disclose his taxes. 
because he's a fucking fraud. He ain't worth no fucking ten billion dollars like he says he is. You know, he's controlled, just like everybody else. He's got fucking you know, and, and Americans think that he's almighty. You know, he's he's almighty Trump. You know, the the epitome of a power of power in America. You know, it's fucking not. He's fucking owned just like fucking Obama. <laughs> but people are stupid, man. They really fucking believe that shit. Oh, man, it smells so good right here always, man. Someone, someone around here always has some really good fucking weed. <laughs> oh, yeah, I watched, watched my last week's video recently. I, man, I got to quit cussing so much in my video. I got to quit saying fuck so much. Fucking, fucking, fucking bad doesn't really a little bit adds a little flavor to the video too fucking much is too fucking much <laughs> uh, but i wonder if the moose have come down to the water <sighs> gotta be careful man they not at least i know where they are so yeah looking forward to getting these dancers done man and tell them after my consultation, let's get started. I don't, I don't want to wait another week after that. I think after, when the consultation, I say as soon as they can get those dentures made, that denture made, we're gonna have it done. So, uh, looking forward to it, man. You know the positive side of it. I'm, pro I'm gonna look a lot better, man. You know, I think. I'm gonna feel better, I think, about myself. That's, you know, a lot of people say, you know, no, people don't really care, man, but, you know, that's not true, man. They see someone that looks like I do, man, and it's, you know, you don't, they don't treat you right, like, like normal. That's one thing a friend of mine said when he got his dentures. You know, he got, people started treating him better. <laughs> it seemed like, we'll see how it goes, man. I think it's gonna be a new stage in my life, man. You know, I never talk about how old I am or nothing, but let's just put it this way, man. My next birthday, I'm gonna be a fucking half a century. <laughs> it's hard to believe, man. What? I never thought I would live this long. <laughs> wow, so nice. I got, a, I got a lot of life left in me, man, so. I gotta do it. I gotta take care of myself. Start taking a little better care of myself if I'm gonna make it to the age of retirement. <laughs> Not too far to go though. I don't think, you know, we all, anybody in my generation knows we, we're not counting on getting no social security or probably never retiring because I don't think I'm ever gonna have my hands on enough money to fucking retire. But. There's ways of doing it, man. People, people have find ways to beat the system, man. To to go, you know, survive without having to have a nine to five job, you know. I'm gonna start looking in ways to do that as I get older. But uh, you know, right now working as a carpenter, man. You know, I'm at the top of my fucking game, even though I don't make enough money. <laughs> nobody does these days I should be making more money but you know it's the fucking economy we live in right Been undermined by fucking cheap fucking labor but yeah so anyways I think I've gone on way too long on this I might have to edit it down anyway appreciate all the support I'm getting we'll talk to you guys soon